Hello lovely people, welcome today to a Montessori inspired gift guide for the ages of two to three, toddler years, the toddler years, a toddler gift guide we'll say. Now I'll be completely honest when it comes to ages with gift guides in this kind of toddler period, once you get over the age of about 18 months, I think that each child is so individually different um, and they have strengths in such different areas that for some of them, they will be doing things that on the box it says this is for a three-year-old or a four-year-old and in other areas they're very interested in things that oh they're supposed to stop being interested in when they're 18 months old and it's just not how, that's not how children work. Okay, we all move at different speeds in different areas, that's... That's how life, that's how life is. So when I say that this is a guide for um, someone in the age range of uh, two to three, that's because my son is two and a half and these are things that he loves. However, for those of you who don't know what Montessori is, um, and Montessori's parenting specifically, it's a, it's a style of education or parenting that is very much led by our observations of the child and is very child-led. So um, we give him things as he is able to do them rather than thinking he is this age, he should be able to do this or he is this age now, he should have stopped doing that. For instance, it's letting your child be as fully capable as they are able to be. So Rupert dresses himself in the morning and chooses his clothes because he's fully capable of doing that. He can stir some scrambled eggs whilst standing on his uh, learning tower in the kitchen because he's able to do that. He's done that for about a year. And yet at the same time, I know that there are things that he physically struggles with and it's about meeting him where he is at with that. So he currently isn't really able to run or jump and I'm not going to push him to do so or challenge him on why he can't do that. We just go to ballet and go to gymnastics and have lots of fun um, playing around with our bodies and moving them. And you know, if our bodies move more a little bit each week, that's great. And if they don't, Oh well. This very long intro is to say, just here are some suggestions. Take from this whatever you think your child might be interested in. Number one, a Yotto player. Okay, this one is a gift for the whole family, I have to say. <laughs> I love this. Probably, probably just as much as Rupert does. So for those of you who don't know, a Yotto player is a mini music player for a child and it is usable from a very, very young age. Rupert got this specific Yotto player for his first birthday from his granddad. Thank you very much, granddad. And it has a little card slot at the top. You get different little cards and some of them have music on and some of them have stories on and your child can just put them in and out and interchangeably go through them. They press the button to go to the next track or the next chapter of the story. You can twist the dial to um, put the volume up and down and you can twist this dial to move through a number of songs at once and then press to play that song. Along with having the ability to write your own tracks onto some make your own cards so you could record a family member like a grandparent reading a story and the child can listen to their grandparent reading a story with them which is quite a sweet idea or you could record music from your own culture and have the child be able to just use it to listen to musical tracks that they can't find anywhere else i'm just thinking of that because we have put some um some tracks from that Rupert really liked when we were in Malaysia. One of the things we love about this as a family, something his parents love about this, is the ability to program it uh, with reminders. So currently, before we need to leave the house uh, at set times, whether that be to go to school or to go to ballet class or to go uh, to play group or whatever, um, we, have the <laughs> we have a fan horn set to come up. Um, to let Rupert know that it's now shoes on coat on time and he listens to it and we all have a dance party. This in combination with our Amazon Alexa, <laughs> get us out the house. It takes a lot to get my family to do anything on time, be anywhere on time. Do we need 20 reminders? Yes. Does Rupert need to know 
when we're going to leave the house, 30 minutes, then 20 minutes, then 10 minutes, then five minutes, then two minutes in advance. Yeah, he does. So thank you, Yachty Player, for that. And I really like the range of cards that come with it. I know its main competitor is the Tony, and with the Tonys you can get a range of like Disney songs, but Yotto tend to be more on the line of like, my first classical music, my first piano album, my first ballet music album. Rupert's main interest currently is making us sit down and then watch him do ballet recitals, so. Number two. There is no love in my son's life greater than sticker books. I'd like to believe it's his mother and I. I don't, I'm not entirely sure that's true. But we're at the point now where there must always be a sticker book on the go at any one time. He first got really interested in sticker books in May of this year uh, when he was little under two. You can really find sticker books <laughs> of all ages, I have to say, and it's been an enduring love for him. The classic interest for him is the Osborne first sticker books. They have a, a series called Sticker Dolly Dressing where they have characters that you can you can dress up you put their clothes on it's very exciting for him it's very exciting for me too actually <laughs> um i also I, I enjoy it just as much as he does because i actually know what these things are called we did try to broaden out his horizons by trying um to buy some truck related sticker books to see if he would be interested in those uh, but to be honest firstly I don't know the names of any trucks so I um, was unable to assist every time he asked me what they were called. Uh, that one's a many wheeler truck and then I'm just lying to my child and, and that didn't feel great but fortunately he wasn't interested <laughs> so yay. Uh, am I pushing my passions onto him? Or do we just share things in common? Who's to say? Who's to say? But Claudia absolutely does not care for fashion. And so she has to suffer through the dressing up sticker books, the activity sticker book, which is also a very good type of sticker book. Uh, their ultimate sticker book, they do a whole range of activity sticker books, which are really pretty great because they have the find the thing, stick it down, Complete the picture, style, stickers. Complete the picture with stickers, yes. Anything Rupert can do with stickers, he is happy. Brilliant, fill the scene with stickers, absolutely. If it involves stickers, he's there. Whenever we sit down somewhere in a restaurant, you just pull out the sticker book and he's happy. Number three, I'm a little bit obsessed uh, with, this, with this next thing and uh, <laughs> I know we don't show Rupert's face, so this next picture may somehow lose its uh, adorable cuteness because I'm blanking out his face. But here is a picture of a six-month-old Rupert wearing um, a cape and a crown. <laughs> These are from a brand called Mary Mary. Um, their capes are one size, so, you know, six months to two and a half years. They're really, <laughs> they're really doing their work. He loves this Christmas outfit. This is such a great little outfit that he adores wearing. And it's a Christmas cape. It makes you look like a Christmas tree. We're actually pretty big fans of the Merry Merry brand in general because he also has a advent calendar uh, that, that lasted one day. The advent calendar was an adorable little scene of some animals on their way to a Christmas party. I um, highly recommend the adorable advent calendar. Comes in a box that you can keep. Just keep it somewhere your child won't immediately find it. Number four. So next up, if you've been following me for a while, you know that one of my favorite ways to do gifting, favorite presents to give is subscriptions. I think it's a really lovely thing to do to remind someone that you are thinking of them all year round rather than just like on their birthday or on Christmas. How sweet is it to gift your grandmother a weekly flower delivery? <laughs> and I'm also a big fan 
of toy subscriptions because I think that not only are they a really good thing for your child, great to stimulate their interest and in those early days it can be such an amazing thing to have things to meet their interests where they are right now. It can be also so helpful for you as a parent. You're, if you're a first time parent especially, I've never had a child who's this age before. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know necessarily what they're going to be into next. Like, ah, help. And that's one of the reasons that I am a really big fan of Love Every. For anyone not in the know, Love Every Play Kits are a subscription service of stage-based play essentials designed around your child's developing brain. These aren't just the kind of one-and-done toy server, as often things from previous play kits have found their way out and then played with over and over again. Love Every are on a mission to give families a support system for brighter futures and the confidence that they're giving a the child the best thing to meet their play needs. So in the first year, kits arrive every two months and from then on they arrive every three months. Shout out to them for including non-toy items, like a working miniature sink and small cleaning items, which can be really hard to find, but are sort of intrinsic to Montessori. This video isn't sponsored by them, by the way, I'm just a massive fan, but they did give me this particular play kit, which I'm so happy about. Not as happy as Rupert with his new little hammer game, obviously. The play kits are available in a number of different countries and in a variety of languages, including English, German, French, and Spanish. Now, we've been getting a Love Every subscription for, mm, let's think, well, over a year because we took it to Malaysia with us. I also gift love every already to Atlas, who is Clara and Evelina's baby. I think it's really lovely, especially if you are quite um, physically far apart from a family member or friend, and I very much think of their family as being part of my family, to be able to stay in their lives and, and every time they get their box, be like, oh, thinking of you, and be able to for them to have things to play with and I really loved when they came to Brighton seeing that they had some things from their boxes and I was like, it's so nice that I get to see Atlas playing with the things from his Love Every boxes that I was able to give to him and, and at the same time I know that they are things that will last. I know the quality is amazing because we have obviously had the same items and nothing has ever I mean they've been they've been chucked uh chucked around a bit um by various children visiting. If you're interested in love every for yourself or gifting for someone else then you can click the link in my description to find out more and possibly get your own box. Number five. Now do you love connecting your child back to your heritage but worry that you don't actually know all of the stories? Well, I have this the thing for you. This technically isn't a gift for your child to put in their stocking type thing, but it is a gift for them in the long run. It is the adorable Letters to My Grandchild, which I guess is actually a present that you would be giving their grandparent, but it's going to come back to your child, so. Inside, it's a series of envelopes that your parent will write, or your grandparent-in-law, the grandparent of your child. An elder of your child, to be fair. Do they need to be blood related? No. Um, we'll write letters in and then put them inside. So it goes from here's a special story about our family with you know, sealed on to be opened on. Or it may surprise you to learn that when I was young, one positive change I have witnessed in the world is even stories about you. When your parent was young, dun dun dun. And we've also asked one of his relatives in Malaysia to write down some stories as well. You obviously don't need a, um, a little book of envelopes to do this. You could make your own envelopes, in fact, and DIY them. But it's just a really nice, easy reminder to get them down, get those stories down, get those memories down, and be able to pass them along the family line. Number six. Okay, so I am going to make a video about uh, inclusive children's books at Christmas, but I'm going to talk about this book because it's not a book. Would you like to teach your child some Mandarin? This one is tiny. This is tiny here. This is tiny here. Yeah, that this one. This is tiny here. Yeah, in Chinese there and in English here. This is better. <laughs> that's the kind of sound of Bethlehem. 
Yes, the panda has found a best friend. <laughs> Baba Learns Chinese is a series of musical books made by a real mum with a soothing, calming voice. The aim is for high quality audio that's easy to understand and non electronic sounding in order to best help children and parents learn Mandarin Chinese through music. Each children's song is sung twice in Chinese with musical accompaniment. It's a really easy way to introduce your child to Chinese sounds and the look of Chinese characters, as each song is written in English, Mandarin, and Pinyin, which is the phonetic pronunciation of Mandarin characters. I personally think this book is great for babies, toddlers, and preschoolers. It has non tearing board book pages with really clear designs to keep the littles interested, but it also older children can read along. A very fun thing is that when I do this with Rupert, I also do it in sign language. So, <laughs> because I sign all books to him, but hey, under the age of three, they have absorbent minds. So you could literally play them anything or anything they'll just suck it right in now is the time people now is the time <laughs> uh Babao is i know i know i know what you're thinking uh musical books well that's all well and good for you to share with us jessica you can uh, promote that as much as you like you could just take out your hearing aids and then you won't hate it and i completely get that i get what you're saying but genuinely i think of all musical related children's things that I have come across in my in my time. Not horrible. A ringing endorsement. And I very much like that it does have an off and low volume, regular volume setting. So you could just keep it on low volume the whole time if you'd like that. Baba also has a website for with a pronunciation guide for those of us who need a lot of pronunciation help. And that's it. Thank you so much for watching. And um, remember that the links to everything will be in the description down below. I hope you've enjoyed some of my Christmas suggestions for the two to three year Montessori inspired age range. Let me know what you think about the suggestions in the comments down below. And which one would you have liked to receive at this age? Remember to subscribe if you haven't already. There are going to be many more Vlogmas videos coming out over the December period. I've got two long form videos a week and also multiple shorts. If you'd like to see more Montessori type of content from me, then you can follow me over on Instagram, either at Jessica Out of the Closet or at Jessie and Claude, which is our family Instagram. Again, thank you so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.